hairline day. Uh, it's been a week. Um, I do my hairline every week. I woke up this morning, got in the shower, uh, got out of the shower, and you'll see on the picture of the thumbnail what it looked like when I got out of the shower. Um, yesterday, um, I sweated quite a bit. I got that on the video. I'm going to try to add that in another video. It turned a little white, um, but it was hot. I mean, it was like 95 degrees. It was hot. So today's a big day, and you're gonna say, why, Curtis? Looks like the same stuff you do all the time. Nope. We are going from a white bond to a clear bond. Um, we're gonna give it a try. I tried this on my skin, like I tried it right here on my hand. It, it seemed to have a good tack to it. Um, this is the HD Bond from Hair Direct. This is their proprietary stuff. This is not um, like Walker or anything like that. It's directly from Hair Direct. They're not paying me for this at all, zero. So I'm doing a straight up review. I, I can't do a review, but I'm doing an installation so you'll be able to see it. But I put it on my hand and it seemed to take about five to seven minutes, I guess. It got pretty tacky. Um, and uh, But I wanted to check it on my hand to make sure that my body didn't react. Uh, to the chemicals that are in it. Um, it says it's safe, um, but it honestly smells like gasoline. Um, it's clear, not really stringy. Um, it is quite runny, but it smells like, if you huffed it, I think it would do something to you. Like I'm no freaking engineer when it comes to chemicals, but it seems pretty for real. So we're going to apply this stuff and I might have to fast forward through some of the clips when we do the application because I don't want to make the video too long. So here we go. I've cleaned the hairline. This is where I'm at. I've got a clean hairline, which today took me a long time for some reason. It's just the breaks though. That's how it goes. So we're going to put this on. I've never done this and it seems to want to run off the brush quite a bit like it's on the, the shaft of the brush. So I'm kind of wanting to run off before I go putting it on my head because I don't want a mess. Definitely not as easy as Ghost Bond when it comes to getting it from the applicator. Okay, it's going on clear. It's very clear. Really hard to see where I'm putting it. All I can tell is that it's shiny. Okay, I just cleaned my head with alcohol. Damn, I didn't put my scalp protector on. Son of a bee. Every time I'm on video, I always forget to do that. We're gonna do it anyways. We're gonna do it right around where we didn't hit the glue. There we go, okay. All right, we're gonna let that dry for a second. Gotta make sure the scalp protector dries good. Or none of this will work. We'll be starting over again. Okay, back to it. All right, this stuff looks shiny. Um, it's very runny. Somewhat stringy. And it says to apply a thin coat. So that's what we're gonna do is a thin coat. Make sure to stay around the hairline. This stuff is, uh, now I just cleaned my head with alcohol, so I'm getting a little bit of a, a burning sensation, maybe? A light a burning sensation? Going right down to where my tan line is. You can't see where this stuff is going at all. Yes, you can but it's not like obviously the white when it dries clear you kind of know where you put it right, it just got pretty stringy on me I can see some of the strings over my eyeball definitely different it's not a not as user-friendly as a white bond. 
Now, I'm not sponsored by anybody, Ghost Bond or anybody, so I'm giving you a straight up how this stuff works review. So I'm going to do two coats of it, so I'm going to stop the video now, then we're going to come back, let this dry for about five minutes, then I'm going to do the second coat. Okay, we are back. Um, we did about five minutes, I guess, um, of just letting the glue, glue trying to set up. It doesn't say anything on the directions. Apply thin layers to non-lace surfaces and scalp. Let dry five to seven minutes between layers, position hair, press down. It says it contains ethyl acetate. I don't know what that is, and it doesn't sound very healthy, um, but hopefully it doesn't cause me to get uh, headaches or anything crazy like that. So we're going around two. Like I said before, this the stuff is pretty runny. I mean, you probably, let me see if I can get it to where you can see it. You see it running off the brush? I mean, it is what it is. It's not a white bond, so we're not going to try to treat it like that. You know, we're going to, we're trying not to get that white that we, that we get when it gets hot. That's why we're doing this, because the climate here is so hot. Now, I'm not talking bad about Ghost Bond. That, that stuff works fantastic. Um, the cleanup is easy. And who knows, I might go back to it, depending on how this goes. I don't know, but I had to try it. So, and, and I know I know the viewers um, had some questions about it, so I'm always that guy who will give it a try. Y'all know I ain't scared. And if it fails and it doesn't work, we rip this crap off and we start over. Probably won't be the best of times. I tried to clean this up on my hand, um, and uh, it did not. If you put alcohol to it, it seems like it just wants to um, wants to react again, like it wants to activate again and turn back into a uh, a sticky state, which is good. But for cleanup, not so good. Okay, now we have two coats, five to seven minutes. I'm going to stop, stop filming for a few minutes, let this dry, then we'll be back, okay? Okay, we're back uh, for the second time, I think. Um, we've got this, this glue in our head. It looks awful shiny. Um, it is quite tacky. I don't know if I don't want to let this dry for a little bit longer. I think we're going to. We'll be back again. Okay, back again for hopefully the last time. It's been 10 minutes now on the second coat, and we're just going to go with it anyways. But I wanted to do a little short little thing. Somebody asked me about the brushes I use. I keep talking about these random brushes, and I never show them. Here's the one brush that I use has the little plastic uh, nipples on the end of it that's uh, going to... I don't know, they're just plastic, so they're going to protect against having like a sharp edge like like this one does here. Um, this is my brush that I use to style the side of my head with all of my hair in it um, to make it look that slick side that I kind of do. Um, and that's really it. All right, we're going to apply. Let's see what happens. All right. I'm gonna roll it down like I normally do. I have no idea what to expect, so you guys just bear with me. I always start in the middle and I work my way. You cannot get wrinkles here, you just can't. Epic fail if you get a wrinkle. You will have to start over. And starting over really isn't an option. Just 
kind of laying it down and letting it go where it goes. All right, that side's down. Oh, and this side just decided to screw it. I'm going wherever I want. Okay, it laid itself down. I guess this shit's pretty, pretty tacky because it just decided to, Ghost Bond typically doesn't do that. It kind of gives you, seems like a little window. Kind of dabbing it down with my brush. Now I got some cotton in my hair from doing my cleanup. Nothing crazy. I got me a little wrinkle right here. Come on. No wrinkles. No wrinkles. All right, it's down. Um, this is what I use this brush for. I kind of just get into the hair. I'm not, I'm going up into it like this and pushing the system down. That way I don't clump the hair down into the system. All right, you can see here I got too much. I was a little scared to not have enough because I didn't know what to do when it came to uh, having to do a little spot. So I'm, I'm over the line. You can see it, it's kind of shiny, but it looks good. Um, it looks good. It feels secure. I mean, it feels good. The line looks good. Um, I got some stuck to my head right there, some hair. I'm gonna go back over these spots here, make sure it's down. The whole purpose is to hide the lace inside of the glue so that the two kind of impregnate into each other. I use all these big words and I think I'm smart. I'm not really that freaking smart. Impregnate, I, whatever, you get the point. The two layers combined. And when they combine, it makes the, um, the lace disappear. So the glue is going to have to be thick enough for that transition to happen. There's another big word. I'm not that freaking smart. You get the point. So we're done. Um, it looks good. I'm liking it. Um, but we're going to get hot today. We're going to see what happens. I might do some filming out on the streets. And uh, we'll go from there. As always, thank you for watching. In the description in my link, uh, in, the, in the bottom, has a link to all the stuff I use except for um, this because I have Amazon links attached to it. So uh, they don't sell this on Amazon, I guess. So, But everything else that I use, like Ghost Bond and all that stuff is on there. So check the description and that way you can click through. Um, it is an affiliate thing. And if you click on it, I do get paid. So I appreciate it. If you do, if you're going to buy the product anyways, I would be grateful. So. I'm always looking out for you guys. Subscribe below if it uh, if my videos help you. And uh, we're going to go sweat some today, and I'll try to get it on video. So thanks. Take care.